everyone. Today I'll be talking about cervical cancer. What is cervical cancer? Cervical cancer is a type of cancer that occurs in the cells of the cervix at the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina. One of the best ways to prevent cervical cancer is by getting yourself a HPV vaccination. It protects against most types of HPV, especially HPV type 16 and 18 which often cause cervical, vaginal and vulvar cancers. The recommended age for HPV vaccine in Malaysia is from 9 until 45 years old. This includes boys and girls. Who is eligible for the vaccine? Children aged 11 to 12 years old should get two doses of HPV vaccine given 6 to 12 months apart. HPV vaccines can be given starting at age of 9. This vaccination is not recommended for anyone older than 26 years old and children who start the HPV vaccine series on or after their 15th birthday need three doses given over six months. There are two ways to detect cervical cancer, which is PET test and also HPV test. PET test, or also known as PAP smear, is a procedure to check for cervical cancer in women. It requires collecting cells from your cervix and this procedure takes around 10 to 20 minutes. The PAP test doesn't hurt but you may feel a little pinch or a bit of pressure. HPV test. It's another screening test for cervical cancer. This test detects the presence of HPV which is the virus that causes cervical cancer. Certain types of HPV viruses which are type 16 and 18 can increase your cervical cancer risk. Other preventions of cervical cancer include avoid smoking, use protections during sex, limit your number of sexual partners. Apart from that, there are a few treatments for cervical cancer. The first one is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is for cervical cancer that has spread or come back after treatment. Chemotherapy medicines are given into the vein as injection or infusion and are given in cycles, either it's weekly or every three weeks. Next is radiotherapy. There are two types of radiotherapy, which is the external beam radiation, EBRT, and bronchitherapy, which is the internal radiation therapy. EBRT is a type of X-ray with much higher radiation dose. Brachytherapy treatment is where the radiation source is placed to it in a device in the vagina or cervix. Next is colonization of cervix. It is to diagnose cervical dilepsia, where this method requires excision of a cone-shaped portion of the cervix to remove a cervical restaurant along with the entire transformation using a laser or scalpel. And the last one is radical hysterectomy. It is the removal of the uterus, cervix, upper vagina, and tissue around the cervix. Where for this procedure, the surgeon removes tissues next to the uterus, which are the parametrial uterosacral ligaments, cervix, upper part, and about 1 to 2 inches of the vagina next to the cervix. That's all for today. Do share this with your loved ones. Thank you.